Hello world, my name is Tim Rossiger. Welcome back to another daily game dev video. Today, I want to go over the RNG system in my game, Battleborn Tactics, which you can wish list down below. I want to talk about how RNG works, why it's in the game, and specifically things that I've done to lie to the player. We're going to talk about lying today. You guys excited? Uh, okay, so first of all, in, in my game, there's there's a couple things that use RNG, but the most prominent is when a character moves. Uh, or when they're about to attack. So if I click on a character and somebody's within range and I hover over them, it'll show uh, the percentage uh, to hit. And currently the game doesn't do a, a very good job of telling you why that is. Uh, we have some work to do on that end. But each uh, enemy has a dodge stat. Every character in the game has a dodge stat. And that dodge stat just gets subtracted from... Or 100... The dodge stat gets subtracted subtracted from 100 and that's the percentage to hit uh how many, how likely they are to dodge so um rng is one of those things that uh is i just got fucked up he's talking about rng right uh it's it's i think it's necessary i have a video on the channel where we talked about into the breach a little bit and how that game completely took out randomization and some people love that and some people hate that um i believe it is my personal belief that even though uh, people say they they hate RNG. It is my personal belief that uh, RNG is super important to the design of the game. I think it keeps things fresh. I keep it keeps things interesting. I do think it creates bad emotional moments, but I think those bad emotional moments are important for the good emotional moments. Right? They help you frame your behavior better. So uh, here, for example, uh, he ate an apple. So so. When this shows 82%, right, uh, people have asked me, why don't you just take the RNG out at all? He's like right there, he can hit the person, and sure, that, that would be a legitimate design uh, choice, right? But it's not the design choice I want to make. We could take randomization out, but the problem if you take randomization out is that this game sort of becomes a puzzle at that point, right? Like, like all of the information is sort of there, and it's just up to you to like execute and the problem is I don't want people taking 10 minute turns. I don't want people just kind of like, oh, well, let me go here and do this. And the randomization adds that little bit of uh, ambiguity, which I like because it, it, it brings it down to where you want to focus on. So the RNG in this game, the way that it works, 82% is not actually 82%. I'm lying to the player here. Um, originally it was 82%, but I quickly discovered that the way the players think about 82% is not the way that it actually works mathematically. So when, when players see 82%, uh, what they think is that if they if they were to attack 100 times, that they would succeed 82 times. And if you ask most people, that's what they'll say. Matter of fact, maybe you thought that too, and you're like, wait, that's not how it works? No, that's not how it works. Because the fact of the matter is, you can fail a 90% chance 10 times in a row. It's perfectly possible. You can fail a 90% chance 10 times in a row because previous uh, previous iterations of the random number do not affect future iterations. So every time it's a pure 90% chance. But that's not how most people think it works. So the problem with this isn't so much, well, one, failing an 82% chance feels bad, right? Like most people, 80 or 90%, they're like, hey, that's a success, right? So they're just going to go for it. Uh, but beyond that, if they miss, failing again feels way worse. Because now, like, this game is broken. This RNG is messed up. And I've literally gotten this feedback. Um, and what well, a lot of players, what they end up saying is, like, you should take the RNG out. I hate the RNG. But they hate the bad parts of RNG. They don't hate the good parts of RNG. And the good parts of RNG are what make a lot of video games uh, fun compared to, like, board games. Board games are fun, too. Not Don't get me wrong. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying board games aren't fun. Uh, a lot of board games use tremendous amount of RNG too. That's that's perfectly possible. But I think we have a huge advantage in video games uh, because we can do all kinds of things to uh, modify the randomness, right? When you use dice or some or uh, cards or something like that, you can't necessarily control the random. There are some games that, you know, especially for decks, they break the, the decks up into pieces and then separate them out and stuff like that. And that's cool because it controls the, the flow of the game. Uh, but we've got a huge advantage here with this RNG. And so what I did under the sys under the hood, and people from stream helped me out uh, with this formula, but um, basically 
the 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 first chance that you see is always uh the accurate chance that's reflected but i keep track of your misses and then i increment your hit chance under the hood i don't show it so actually i think this is gonna kill him yeah it's gonna kill him uh but here it's it's 72 percent. that's gonna kill him too let's attack with the bunny because the bunny's got zero attack for some for some testing purposes um so 82 percent now the next time i go to hover over and attack him it still says 82 percent, and that's what we're going to show to the player is that 82 percent. but under the hood this has went up to like probably something around 90 percent. Okay, and then the third iteration is almost always 100%. If it's not the third or fourth, it's almost always 100%. And that's just a mathematical formula where we take uh, the number of misses and the current hit percent, and we increment by the difference between how many misses in a row we want to tolerate, right? So for this game, three to four misses in a row uh, is too much, right? I, I don't think you should ever miss three times in a row. Um, now... What sucks about that is like that that is a repeatable system, so pro players are going to learn that. And I just told YouTube, so y'all are going to know that when you play the game, which definitely does change the outcome of some of the stuff. But for most players, um, that feels better. And the fact that you have incremented chance every time you miss feels like how they think it should feel, right? When they're when they're actually uh, playing the game. And that's my goal here is I'm not necessarily after the pure accurate RNG yet, because I don't care about the RNG. The RNG is a tool that I use in the game to deliver an experience, right? And the experience I want is that variety and that ambiguity. But what I don't want is I don't want them to miss five times in a row and just say, this game sucks and quit the game, right? So it's random, but it's controlled random. And I also do not tell the player the updated amount because th again that's another confusing thing right if why does it keep going up uh, there's all, a bunch of other stuff that you could add on to that right um and that requires extra learning it requires extra ui it requires all kinds of extra stuff uh but it also changes expectation right if i increase this number we're still dealing with the player's faulty perception of rng <laughs> so now now the expectation is even higher uh, if you stick to the same percentage and you always show them the same percentage, but under the hood, you modify the RNG, um, that I think makes a more fulfilling, more, uh, even more interesting experience. And actually, uh, I took it a step farther because I actually did some research because I've been playing a lot of XCOM and I found out that Jake Solomon, uh, from XCOM two, uh, they did a similar thing, uh, he said his 85% shots are closer to 90. And that was really, really cool. Now, XCOM has a lot of, you know, memes about the uh, the RNG system and all that. But I think those are those are from the, the way that um, your dude can have a shotgun in somebody's face and, uh, <laughs> and, and miss. Which, that's more of, like, me perceiving the situation than me actually preserving the RNG system. But anyway... Uh, so it was, it was cool to find out that, that places like XCOM and stuff have done this as well. And, uh, it's good to know that I'm on the right path for, um, for an RNG system like that. So if you're considering RNG in your game, especially if it's player facing RNG, especially if there's something to lose here, like if I were to miss this shot, it's, it's, I could potentially lose a character or lose a health. Uh, if you've got something to lose from the RNG, I would, I would always make sure that one, um, under the hood, you are pushing things in players' favor. I would pr I would do uh, loss prevention and stuff like that to make sure they don't lose too many times in a row. And then I would also um, take the system and make sure that how players expect it to work is similar to how it does work. It doesn't have to be exact, but you don't want it to work completely different than how most people think it works because that's the main problem. That's the disconnect, right? That's the bounce when they're just like, I don't understand this and it sucks and they just leave. Uh, so that's all I got for you today. I hope you found it useful. I want to say thank you to these people right here. They help me keep doing what I'm doing every single weekday, daily game dev videos. Uh, thank you, patrons. You guys are awesome. Uh, if you want your name on this list, you can head over to patreon.com slash game dev underground. Uh, lots of tools there to help you build, finish, and launch better games. Uh, you can also join uh, Discord and come hang out with us uh, as a community from all around the world, people that make video games and you can make uh games with us and we can we can help each other out uh last but not least i will be streaming on twitch today and tomorrow thursday and fridays at 3 p.m eastern you can go to twitch.tv slash tim come hang out with me because we'll be working on battle bar tactics live 
We'll be working on some ability stuff, and it'll be fun. So you should come hang out. Anyway, my name is Tim Roswick, and I will see you again tomorrow.